Welcome to another tutorial brought to you by Photographer Overnight. Today I'm going to show you how to do a fast and easy head swap. So you've taken this nice family portrait and the family looks really good in this one, but we wanted to switch out the little girl's smile with another picture that we've got right here where the little girl looks better but we don't necessarily want to use the family in this picture. So this is a really quick and easy thing to do. Sometimes um, head swapping seems a lot more complicated than it needs to be. So I'm going to show you a really fast, easy way to do it that I use in all of my family portraits. So we've first got the image open in Photoshop that we want to be underneath where we like the family but we want to switch out the little girl. And then we're going to bring over the layer, the picture of the little girl, as a layer on top. We've just dragged the picture on. In CS5 you'll see this transformation box when you drag a picture over. Just hit enter to commit that transformation. Now you can see we've got two layers here. If you click the eyeball you'll be able to turn on and off this layer. Now you can see the picture is not lined up exactly right. It's best if you use a tripod with the family pictures where you know you're going to have to swap out a head. Um, sometimes you have little babies that won't look and you want to get the best smile from everyone in the family. So what we're going to do is make sure that this picture is lined up properly with the layer underneath. So if you turn on and off this picture you can see that the picture on top is moved down and to the right. So we're going to select the arrow tool, that way we can move the picture over. And we've got the background matched up properly now, so we know we'll be able to swap the head without having any problems in the background. So turn the layer above back on with the eyeball tool. What we're going to do is create a mask here. So we've got this mask. By clicking the mask button here, if you mouse over it, it will say um, add new layer mask. So here's the mask and here's the layer. We're going to fill in the mask with black. What that does is it masks out this entire layer that's above our layer underneath so that none of it's showing. And the hotkey is shift F5. So we're going to fill in the mask with the foreground color, which is black, hit OK. And now you can see the entire layer above is not showing. If you click the eyeball, you'll see it doesn't do anything because we've hidden this layer with a black mask. So now if you want to bring back parts of the layer, all you have to do is change your brush to white, select your brush tool, and then we're going to paint over the little girl's face where we want to bring back this layer that's on top. I'm just painting over her face and then we'll want to match up the shirt as much as we can. And in some pictures you'll need to paint quite a bit to get everything to match up. So now I've recreated the face here by masking in the layer on top with a white brush and masking out the rest of this picture with the black fill. So if you turn on and off this layer you can see the change you've made and that will help you see if there's any weird spots that need to be fixed. When the background lines up perfectly you don't get any problems back here so that's nice. And then if there's anything where you need to bring back the layer underneath then you'll just paint with a black brush on this mask which will hide the layer that you just brought back. So there we have a quick and easy head swap just by using a layer and a mask. If you're not familiar with layers and masks, we do sell a Photoshop tutorial program that goes over layers and masks in detail and it will save you hundreds of hours. It's also nice to use layers because then you can just tone down the effect or delete the layer altogether without ruining your main image and having to go farther back in the history than you can ever go back. Thanks for watching and visit photographerovernight.com for more free photography tips and tutorials.